pretty sure that from the way that I'm elegantly dressed and the pentatonic music in the background, most of you already have an idea of what we will be talking about in this video. Your heart goes by the name Tatenda Chimbunde, Zimbabwean by birth. Chinese name Tatinga will be presenting to you China in my eyes so stay tuned as I'll be taking you through an interesting journey that shows the friendship and exchange between China and Zimbabwe the Chinese history Chinese culture art language seen from a Zimbabwean perspective my own personal experience with China both in China and in Zimbabwe and of course the anticipated 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics China's relations with Zimbabwe date back to the Rhodesian Bush War in 1979, China provided the guerrilla fighters with weapons and training. The formal diplomatic relations were established at the Zimbabwean independence in, in 1980. China is one of Zimbabwe's largest trading partners and its largest source of investment. In 2019, China Railway No. 6 Group construction firm built the Mausekwa Hospital in the Mashona and East Province of Zimbabwe under the China Aid Project aimed at helping to provide health facilities to people in the countryside. The Zimbabwe agricultural sector is the engine for economic growth of Zimbabwe. Hence, China has been helping Zimbabwe in production of tobacco by providing and imparting knowledge and high-tech machinery. Just a few weeks after Zimbabwe had recorded its first positive case of COVID-19, China donated its first batch of medical supplies to Zimbabwe, along with 12 medical experts from the Hunan province, which came to share their experience with medical experts in Zimbabwe to help combat COVID-19. The Chinese New Year falls on the new moon between January 21st and February 20th. And in this year, 2022, known as the year of the tiger. For the spring new year celebrations, Chinese people usually thoroughly clean their houses. They decorate them using red lanterns, stick uh, cut out paper cutouts in their houses. And they also, in their custom, give out what they refer to as um, red envelope. So as a Zimbabwean student at the China Pharmaceutical University, when the school would organize cultural activities, cultural festivals, where we would exchange our cultural ideas, cultural food, uh, we got to exhibit our own culture and also teach Chinese about the Zimbabwean language. And coming back to Zimbabwe, I decided to improve my Chinese language. So I got to be taught by one of the Chinese teachers at the Confucius Institute at the University of Zimbabwe, known as Mr. Zimindo, Chinese name Zheng Laoshi. I also um, got to be part of uh, the Chinese bridge competition uh, by helping a Zimbabwean student in singing a Chinese song. Hence, I was able to learn Chinese not just through the class teacher interaction, but also through music. Um, from this exposure, I got offers from the Chinese um, company. I was doing a Chinese translation, Chinese to English or Chinese to Shona translation. I also got to compete uh, in uh, this essay writing competition, which was organized by the Chinese embassy and the University of Zimbabwe. And I also managed to obtain third prize and got um, a certificate that was uh, signed by the Chinese ambassador himself. So I'm really grateful that um, Chinese language has uh, opened so many opportunities for me as a student in Zimbabwe and also for other um, local citizens by providing uh, job opportunities. Well, in my country, Zimbabwe, it doesn't snow, so you can imagine the thrill, the zeal, and the excitement I had just to be able to experience snow for the first time when I went to China. And you can imagine if I cannot even skate or ski, but had so much fun playing with the snow, how much those athletes that will be competing in the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. Chinese cuisine is as diverse as its regions and inhabitants and Chinese cuisines also reflects the changing seasons and according to the traditional Chinese medicine, different ingredients are used to prepare Chinese food in different seasons to, count, to counteract the um, climatic conditions and this also supports the Chinese philosophy of yin yang which um, talks about maintaining harmony and balance in the world. Some of the rules um, that should be followed when using chopsticks is that after you are done eating, you are not, you are not supposed to 
place your chopsticks in this manner because this is done during funerals and also you are not supposed to use your chopsticks to beat your bowel because this is a sign of begging and also when you're done eating the chopsticks are supposed to be placed in this manner as Confucius said our greatest glory is not in never falling but rising every time we fall I know for Zimbabwe China and even the world at large the past two years have been very hard and painful for us due to the COVID-19 pandemic but I believe, as the Beijing Winter Olympics motto says, together for a shared future, it is time that we embrace the new normal and strive to work together for the greater glory ahead. I thank you, Maitabasa. Sheshe Dajia.